Today, the Warriors did what they thought Sonny Fai would wish. They continued training. Meanwhile, hundreds of people gathered at Bethel's Beach in West Auckland hoping for a miracle. But after another day of searching, the sports star is still missing. Melissa Davies reports. A parting message waits to be washed out to sea to the spot where Sonny Fai was last seen. His grandparents take guard at the water's edge, but there's still no sign of him. It should be Fai's second day back here at the Warriors' headquarters, where the emotional impact of his absence became clear in a question to Steve Price about how he's coping. Yeah, oh, not, not, not real well, but all right. The team had a light training run this morning after all plans were put on hold yesterday. They say Fai would have wanted them to get back into it. It's hard to know how, they, how they're coping, I guess, but you know, they probably draw strength from each other when they're here. And um, as I said, it's probably a, a nice distraction. Steve Price says they're still hopeful for a miraculous return. We're not um, giving up, so uh, to us it isn't a tragedy because you know we're still hopeful that he's going to come. So. But after an hour-long sweep by both the police eagle helicopter and a private helicopter chartered by the Warriors Club, Sonny Fai is still missing. Here at Bethel's Beach, it's clear just how popular Sonny Fai was. A steady stream of family, friends, churchgoers and even people who didn't know him personally are coming to help in the land search. They take turns wandering around the rocks and watching and waiting at the lifeguard tower. Warriors managers met with Fai's grieving family again today. Sonny's uh, parents, um, you know, they're remaining a vigil at home and they're praying for Sonny and, you know, they, they won't rest and, and they won't have closure until they get Sonny back and um, it'll happen, uh, it'll just take a little bit of time. And that means aerial searches will continue twice daily until the talented warrior returns home to his family. Melissa Davies, 3 News.